ಮಾಡಿ very good morning today we are going to start our second year computer science okay here in computer science second year you see the first chapter is typical configuration of computer system typical configuration of computer system for this chapter there will follow total four marks we are going to ask for four marks One for one marks plus three marks for okay total they are going to ask for four marks okay first we are going to know the terminology terminologies in this first chapter typical configuration of computer system so terminologies are we are going to discuss that is what is meant by computer then First, we are, we have to know the what is meant by computer. Okay, so what is meant by computer? We already know in the first year. Okay, what is meant by computer? It is an electronic device. Okay, what is meant by computer? It is an electronic device used to process the data and converting the data into information. Okay, what is the computer? Okay, it is just an electronic device. Okay, what is the data? ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವೇನಂತ 
cricket data okay next is users users means who are going to use the computer okay who is interact with the computer yaar adanna use maartidaro okay avaruga nam enu anukuntide users now what are the other users okay so those are the terminologies or terms which comes under computer system those are the basic that's it okay so hardware hardware means physical components of the computer which we can touch and feel next is software software means set of program next is data data means is a raw files provided by the input next is user who is interact with the computer okay those are the some related terms of the computer system okay next coming to the next another is block diagram of computer how it will work okay so i already told the what is computer it is a electronic device used to process the data and converting the data into information how it will converts how it will process and how we give the data and how we take the info as a information okay that is instead of block diagram of computer so here is a block diagram of computer here see here is a input unit okay input unit another one is cpu cpu means central processing unit cpu means central processing unit next is memory unit another one is output unit Okay, there are four components which comes in the computer. One is input unit, another one is CPU, next a uh, central processing unit, next is memory unit, next is output unit. Okay, next let us discuss the units which comes in the this diagram. Okay, next coming to this input unit. Okay, what is meant by input unit? Input unit which accepts the data through input devices. Through input unit, what we are going to do? Which accepts the data through input devices. Now, input device means what? Now, data na accept mein karte hain. So, agar input devices ya do keyboard aage ho do, okay? Mouse. Those are the input devices. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to get the data. Okay? So, accepting the data through input devices. This input unit is going to get the data. Okay? Just data is going to get the data. Data means it is unprocessed. It is not a process. It is not a process. It is not a process. It is not a data. Okay? So, in case of the process, what we are going to do is we are going to do information. Okay? So, data means it is unprocessed. It is not processed. Just know it is a raw factors. We are going to do it. What we are going to do is we are going to do it. Information. Okay? So, in the input unit, we are accepting the data from input devices like keyboard, mouse, joystick. Okay? Those are the input. Devices. Then, now input devices in our now data provided by the computer. It's we are accepting the data in the human readable form. Human readable form. That means we are talking about English language. Okay? It's a in the human readable form. This input unit I go next. After this input unit, it will goes to the CPU or the central processing unit. Again, this central processing is divided into three. Okay? Then, what is this? First one is ALU. ALU means Arithmetic Logic Unit. Next is CU. CU means Control Unit. Okay? Next is Registers. Okay? Next, after accepting the data, then it will transfer to the central processing unit. This unit. In this unit, again, it is having the different categories. One is ALU, ALU means 
arithmetic logic unit. Next is control unit. Next is registers. Okay. Next, coming to this KLU. KLU means arithmetic logic unit. Okay. In case new data, here now we have arithmetic operators. Here the arithmetic logic unit. Here the operations are done. Okay. Which kind of operations? Arithmetic operations. Logical operation and relational operation. Relational operations. Okay. Means arithmetic operations means addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay. Either any of the operations are there. Addition, madhavi, that was subtraction, madhavi, that was multiplication, madhavi, that was division, madhavi. Either any of the डेटा बन रहे अब ये कैलकुलेट आ गया है ये ये यू इली प्रोसेस आ गया है अपने कैलकुलेट आ गया इली आर्थमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट द नेम ओनली सेज द आर्थमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट ओके नेक्स्ट इज इट इज गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट लॉजिकल ऑपरेशंस लॉजिकल ऑपरेशंस बाय एंड और नॉट इट इज आल्सो प्रोसेस्ड आर कैलकुलेटेड इन ए यू नेक्स्ट इज रिलेशनल ऑपरेशंस लाइक Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equals to. Okay, those are the operations. Those are also which is calculated in this AMU. Okay, for example, uh, if you are going to give two plus three. Okay, you may not data go there. Two plus three is the calculation part. Okay, this what is this? The operation plus operation means. Is an addition. We are going to do an addition. Okay. This is an arithmetic operation. Okay. This will be calculated in arithmetic logic unit. Okay. So a KLU means arithmetic logic unit. In this, we are going to calculate the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and logical operations like and or not like that. The relational operations also. Here yeah, be calculated greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to. That will be calculated or processed in this ALU. Okay. Next is CU. CU means control unit. Okay. CU means control unit, which controls the data between various units. Okay. We have accepted the data here. Then this data will be calculated or processed here. Okay. Next, after processing, it has to be transferred to another, right? Okay. So, you can have any data and local theory. Next to here, you can have the process of the data. Next to other one, you can have the data and you can have the data. Next, you can have the data and you can have the data and you can have the data. Okay. That will be calculated or that will be transferred by CU. Control unit. Control unit means which controls the data between various units. All various units. Input unit I give you. Output unit I give you. Next to memory unit I give you. Next to CPU I give you. Ye ne data cover to cover us to. Adal nila na ye do ki control unit. Okay. That's it about control unit. Next is registers. Okay. Registers is nothing but temporary storage. अच्छा है, तो मेमोरी का तो लोगों को मेमोरी अच्छा है, तो ये ये भी करने का काम शुरू करते हैं सामना, तीन अंदर तो होंगे, नेक्स्ट वाले क्या करते हैं बाइक तो, अच्छा, नेक्स्ट वाले जेल ट्रांसफर आउट बैक तो नोट दे, रिजिस्टर वाले नो अंदर टेंपर अगेन स्टोर आगे, अच्छा, ये टू प्लस तीन � Next unit called as memory unit. That's all about this central processing unit. AU, CU, and registers. Next, coming to this memory unit. Next is memory unit. Memory means is a storage. That's that's it. Okay. So again, the memory unit is divided into two kinds. One is primary memory. Another one is secondary memory. Okay, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory means it is a temporary memory. 
ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪರರಿ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ನಾವೇನು ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀವೋ ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೆಂಪರರಿಯಾಗಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪರರಿ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ರಾಂಗ್ Okay, that's all about this. So, this block diagram fact. Okay. 